welcome back to my channel my name is Shani sorry I keep looking over there my name is Shani and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on but it is a Dior Skin Forever it's a perfect makeup everlasting wear pore refining effect with sunscreen and um, it has a broad spectrum of an SPF 35 and also shine control. It's 30 mils, which is one fluid ounce. So this is like the first time I'm actually gonna see it and what color it is. What fucking color it is? Okay, on the box it says 070 at the top there. I'm assuming that's the color, but when we open the box, okay, here it is. It says dark brown. I'm dark brown. So, we're gonna open the box. Let's see, so it comes with a little booklet or leaflet, I'm assuming. So I'll just slide that out. And yeah, it's just got all of the instructions in different languages, European. I'm gonna open uh, the box. So, this is the foundation, this is what it looks like. I bought this foundation from House of Fraser in Oxford Street. It retails at, I want to make sure I get the price right for you guys. So it retails British pounds, 33 pounds. I'm going through a breakout here. See these tiny little bumps and spots. You know, sometimes they'll get red, they'll get a bit aggravated, but not to the point where I have to like pop them. They'll go back down with it. You know, I've tried everything, I've tried fade marks, I've tried this, I've tried that, and nothing really works 100%. It will give me a temporary fade. But, you know, as soon as the sun comes out or I get stressed, then it all comes back. So, anyway, back onto first impressions. I'm there wobbling about my life. <laughs> no one cares. So, it comes with a gorgeous pump. It's got deal skin engraved in the top. It has the number on the back. And it is in a, it's in a glass um, bottle, which sometimes I have issue with, because it's true, you can't really see like the color inside the bottle properly. But let me just, I'm just gonna pump some out on my hand. Because I don't know if I should do like one side of my face with my orange corrector and the other side without, which I think I will do. So we're just going to try and pump it out. Okay, do you see how it came out? It came out quite liquidy. So you see the consistency. It's quite runny actually. Perfecting blend with the skin for immediate matte finish. Okay. With no mask effect. Throughout the day, it provides optimal comfort and flawless wear day after day. The skin's texture appears refined. Its surface beautifully enhanced. Let's hope my skin be beautifully enhanced, yeah? So, I'm going to get my LA Girl uh, Pro Concealer Colour Corrector. Oh no, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to like balance. And I'm going to correct half of my face. So this is where my bad marks are. I'm not going to correct that side because I want to see if this foundation does give quite a full coverage but I've still got marks on this side so we'll just see if my orange is gonna like seep through the foundation etc etc so I'm just gonna move my mirror so I can see do you know what I need to learn that the mirror counteracts my light so every time I move it it's gonna mess with the lighting from the camera so I'm just gonna do that I'm just gonna do this I'm just that's the problem with this one. It's quite easy, so we don't like dark foliage. You can't sometimes show you your foundation, so I'm going to do it. Um, foundation, cotton, baby, I'm not going to that. Sometimes, you know, you do get to do this set, and you go out and find something like it. You've got to show your own imperfections. I'm just going to cover that. So, oh, don't cheat. Do you know what I've got to do? I've got to be thorough. Take this about. Mm. Yes, you get uh, all the oil balancing facial cleansing wipes. You get two for a pound. If I can open it. Right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, look, it's still there. <laughs> and I ran to my bedroom and everything didn't come off, so I'm just going to take this off because I really do want to prime my skin because I always do. I just think when I'm video, when I'm taking. Uh, when I'm doing it. When I'm taping, it, it is a bit of a distraction. So. Okay, let's start again. I'm just gonna let that dry. I did moisturize my face beforehand, just so you know. I use a Q10, like an Nivea Q10 um, cream. Um, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna let that dry off. And the um, <coughs> so just the primer I'm gonna use today is the. I can't see it. It's W7 Perfection. Hmm. Let's light come back. Um, yeah, Perfection. So gonna apply a little bit. It is a. <laughs> I've only ever used this one one time, so I've really taken a place up there. But that's what it looks like. Um, um, you see that colour, it's a flesh tone colour. I'm just going to put it on my pores. We're going to just look all around. And do that. Okay, let's just take some of that morning shine off my face. 
and in the process I've got my eyebrows off but you know what, don't worry about that. Well, it's still there, so I've been moving around and stuff and it's literally, it's moved but not like this. Still there. So, we're going to do this again. I am going to colour correct half the side of my face and the other side I'm not going to colour correct. Just to see if this foundation really does give a full coverage, you know, like it's going to cover all of that stuff. So, I can't see. Again, I'm going to apply my glasses and um, we're going to just go in with the orange. So, I just want to put it on my dark marks and some of my freckles. Because some of these are not, like, spots. some of these are actually freckles and I've had them since I was a little girl. Especially the ones around my eyes that look like I have pigmentation, but it's not, it's just freckles. I've always had that option. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do my forehead. I'm not going over the top with this product because it is quite orange and it has a tendency to, um, show through my makeup but then again I was using a drugstore L'Oreal True Match foundation which could have been the issue so I'm just going to try and I think that's a bit of my eyebrow <laughs> anyways moving on so I've done half the side of my face I've kind of corrected it I'm just going to push that in the skin with a fat sipping brush which I got from Wilco's it was £3 and I'm just going to pat that in the face I'm not going to work it too much I'm just going to pat it in so it looks a bit seamless because we don't want like that scratchy look I'm just going to pat it on my forehead and just kind of try and blend it in with my skin. Because remember, this is a corrector. It's not supposed to completely take the mark away. It's supposed to kind of like blur it out. One thing I do want to try and avoid is this line here when it comes to putting the foundation on. And because it, I've got really heavy laugh lines because I'm always fucking joking. And people always making me laugh because I like funny people. I've just got really heavy, let me see them, really like defined. I've actually got two because I've got like a little outer crease one as well. And don't mind it. You know, I think facial expressions is, you know, just shows you how you live your life, you know. I'm a face so chubby right now. I really need to do something because I'm passing this. I'm like, look at this fat face here. <laughs> Anyway, that's just me. So, again, I've been moving around the foundation hasn't me, so we're going to just literally swatch from this um, thing. What I'll do is, because I do have the corrector on this side, I'm going to apply the foundation to this side first. I'm going to use a Real Tex Technique brush. This one is the Expert Face Brush. This was $8.99 at Beauty Base in Westfields. And it's clean, it's just a bit safe. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just going to literally pat all that product off my hands, and we're going to see where this goes. Okay, so like the colour is quite red. Now that I'm in my sitting room, I must say, when I was in the department store, it looked bang on my skin, but as I'm putting it on, it is quite red, but it is a nice red. It's not a red that is like, oh my god, see me coming from a mile away, Uncle Lumpur style. No, it's quite a fresh. Would I say this product has a fragrance? No, I don't think it's the product. I think, I think it's me. I've got like this cream on, which I love, this dove. Oh, it is so nice. It smells like man's artichoke, but not, not too harsh. So it's really nice. So I'm literally just spreading as much of that product on my face. I might have to go in for a second pump, I think because I do like a full, a full coverage look. But maybe I'm just going to show you with the two pumps that's on my hand to give you more of an accurate like amount that I use which was two pumps on one side of my face and to be honest I mean it's not that bad it's really quite it's really nice let me see if it covers my ears without putting the orange because usually I would put orange on my ears again to counteract that darkness let's work that down the neck so yeah it is ready but I mean that is fucking lovely I'm looking at it and I'm like damn the more I pat it in it just seems to become like my skin it has no weight it is a truly weightless formula oh sorry crossing this it's a truly weightless formula I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock up my camera in a minute and it keeps on stopping. Yes, is that when you apply it on your skin, it almost feels like a cooling action is happening. It has a cool, and I don't know if that's to help with breakouts. You know, sometimes your face is hot when you're broken out, you know, because the pimples are really bad, but wow we I'm loving this. So I'm gonna pump another two pumps on the back of my hand to warm up that product. I think I warmed it up too much before, so I lost a bit of it. So we're just gonna dip the brush straight in there and bam, I'm gonna go over the, the orange. See, now the orange has just made it, can you see what's happened? Like, there's just a lot more product on my face. So it just shows that with the orange um, corrector, you can use less product, which is brilliant. You doesn't need to use less product. Do you know what I mean? So I would say that this is definitely a full coverage foundation. They've no doubt I'm going to come up a little closer so you can see. This is the side I didn't colour correct. This is the side I colour corrected. And to be honest, if I was going on a night out, I probably would colour correct. But if it's just everyday use, I wouldn't. Because it's a really nice like finish, it almost looks like, I'm all done like this. I'm all done like this. But I didn't. Do you know what I mean? I took maybe 25 minutes to put my face on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, this is my first impression of this product. I will be wearing this all day. But I know I'm taking my little boy out and there's going to be water involved, I think. So, would I recommend this foundation? Heck yeah! Yes, I would, because right now, obviously, I haven't got no additional products, no mascara, no, I don't wear lashes because I can't figure out how to put them on. I've watched so many tutorials. Oh, I forgot, when you buy the product, they gave me this little, tiny little Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, and right now my lips are crusty, so I'm going to go in with it and see where I go on. See if I can get some pumping action. So, I'm gonna put that on. Yeah. Come on, Dior. You can't make a foundation like this, yeah, and your lip gloss 
feels like pound shop lip gloss. Let's be real. Nah. What the hell, man? Maybe I can't see. Um, the best plumping action lip gloss I've ever tried is Sally Henson, yeah? If you want lip plumping at its finest, you go find yourself some Sally Henson lip plumping stuff. I wish I had the tube, but it's so old, like I can't find it anymore. But if anybody out there finds the Sally Henson's lip plumping gloss, buy it please and buy me one and send it to me. <laughs> But I must say, the gloss isn't too bad. It's very tingly, like I must say, like I'm feeling my lips go, which can be nice in certain, certain, I won't say, that's just too rude, yeah. <laughs> I've been told that lip, you know, when you wear them plumping lip gloss in certain times, sexual times, you know, the men feel a little tingle, if you know what I mean. Anyways. That is my, I'm um, putting it back in the box, watch me. Oh, I love you. But yes, Dior Forever. You know, if you're gonna buy a high price point foundation, skip Mac, jump over their Matchmaster, because that's like 30 something pound. I've even got a sample, which I should have done maybe a comparison, but I got a sample of the Lancome 224 I do, yeah? I don't know how to say it, but I have this one in matte, which I'm gonna do a review on this one. And I've also got a little, so I'm a sample, trust me, when I go to shops, I'm not someone to shy to ask you for a freaking sample. I got a sample of the new, I think it's the new one, the Poor Professional Matte Rescue. So what I'll do is that when I am reviewing the Lancome, I'll use this in conjunction with it and I will give you like a whole day's wear, I'll Snapchat and everything. Oh yeah, you can follow me on Snapchat. It's just Shani. You know my name. <laughs> yeah, it's just Shani. So not just Shani, it's Shani. That's my Snapchat name. I'll put it in the description box so you can follow my snaps and get to know me. I can't sing, but I love to harmonise and sort of. Now, I was going to do like mascara and everything, but that would be full face. And I just really wanted to give you my honest opinion on the Dior and how it sits on my skin, how it feels without any powder. I would say this is a nice foundation. I can see a little bit of under eye creasing, but again, I haven't set it, so that's probably why. Um, it has given me a lovely, like, it's, it says it's matte, but I can see like the sun just shining off my nose and I haven't even put any like highlight or blush. Another thing that I bought, I just thought I'd just show you. I will review it. It's a blush palette from Revolutions. Um, they're all shimmer. They're all shimmer blushes. Um, they're really nice colors. I don't know if you would even be able to see. Yeah, I literally just opened it to swatch it for you guys. Um, but it's not the greatest of swatch. I will do a proper review and swatch of uh, said product. And the other thing that I got, so I'm going to put my glasses back on because I can't see. The other thing I got when I was in House of Fraser, but this House of Fraser I was in Victoria because I was chatting to one girl. She's like, oh! Why don't you review these two, which is the Givenchy Your Perfect Foundation. Um, the young lady, her name was Miranda, she was just the best. I really liked talking to her and I think if I was to go buy a product, I'd actually look for Miranda <laughs> to help me out. She's the best. So she gave me, I don't know, you know, toot, everything's toot. Uh, Tout Couture, uh, Tout Couture Absolute Hold and Undetectable Texture Foundation. She gave me colours 12 and colours 11. I will review these ones later in the week because, again, I've never used anything from Givenchy. At least I've used things from Dior before, like um, back in the day I got like a, my first brush set was a Dior set it was a gift and I loved it I actually still got the blusher brush um, 
but it's a bit gritty now it's really old i'm talking like 20 something years old because i got that when i was a teenager but yeah um so we're gonna i'm gonna review those i'm gonna review those i'm gonna review that and yeah i mean i'm actually really liking the lip gloss now since it's been on I don't know if it's got shinier, but it's got nice shine. It's not like in your face too much, but, and it's not sticky, so, okay. So thank you for watching my review on the Dior foundation. Dior Skin Forever, I love you. 